guy right here is the first bionic companion robot dog and he's made in China. He comes from this super cool company called Unitree Robotics. Just two years have passed since Hangzhou, China-based Unitree unveiled the Go 1, a quadruped robot costing 2700 US dollars. Since then, the Go 1 has had a significant impact on the tiny quadruped research sector thanks to a rare mix of performance, usability, and being incredibly affordable as far as legged robots are concerned. Unitree has now released the Go 2 Pro, a new model that manages to be both much superior and ridiculously affordable. It is quicker and more agile, and it now even comes with a LiDAR. What is Go 2 Pro? Similar to its predecessor, the Go 2 Pro is offered in a variety of versions. The Go2 Pro offers an extra kilo of payload capacity, an additional meter per second of speed, inbuilt processing power, and 4G connectivity. Additionally, it has side following, which enables the robot to jog alongside you. And if you still need more, the Go2 Edu features a top speed of 5 meters per second, 4 sensors on its feet, and a 15,000 mAh battery that allows it to operate for up to 4 hours. Go2 has a self-developed 4D LiDAR L1 by Unitree that is powered by a huge language model from GPT and can make judgments based on data from its sensor. Go2 achieves all-terrain recognition thanks to its 360 degrees by 90 degrees omnidirectional ultra-wide angle recognition, which has a minimum detection distance as low as 0.05 meters and can identify extremely small blind spots. High strength engineering, plastic, and aluminum alloy were used to create this robot. The robot is roughly 15 kilograms in weight, including the batteries, and measures 70 centimeters long, 31 centimeters wide, and 40 centimeters high. The Go 2 has a battery with a capacity of over 8,000 mAh that lasts for one to two hours, and an additional 15,000 mAh ultra long life battery that lasts for two to four hours. In order to maximize the power, stability, and efficiency of the motor, the battery voltage is raised to 28.8 volts. It has 12 strong and potent knee joint motors, an intelligent side follow system, a top running speed of 5 meters per second, and a peak joint torque of 45 newton meters. A new program that enables HD image transmission and real time remote monitoring allows you to monitor the Go 2 Robo Dog. This robot has integrated Bluetooth 5.2, a 4G eSIM, and Wi-Fi 6 with dual-band wireless modules, allowing for a more dependable connection and remote control of the Go2. The robot may update its software to provide a better user experience by automatically establishing a connection to cloud-based over-the-air OTA services. A depth camera, D435i, is a high computing module worth up to 40 to 100 cores. A 3D navigation radar, a small servo mechanical arm, and a charging station are just a few of the many accessories that come with the Go 2. Unitree founder and CEO, Zhang Jing Wang, told IEEE Spectrum that Go 2 was a huge project with many difficulties that we had to overcome. We've almost completely created and researched every mechanical component and circuit board. We made a lot of effort to consistently enhance the design in an effort to increase performance and quality while also lowering expenses. Wong also spoke about the aspect of how other people have used their robots, and that is most impressive. He says, We are delighted that numerous international institutions and businesses use our quadruped robot in significant and creative development. He cites a few of his favorite examples, such as CSIC's use of Go1 as a robot guide dog, which he believes will be very helpful for people who are blind. In a recent paper in Science Robotics that uses a Go1 and a brain-inspired multimodal hybrid neural network to recognize locations, the recent videos of Go2 walking on two legs indicate that Unitree may soon develop an interest in bipeds. Wong finds it impressive that a quadruped robot is capable of bipedal mobility. The company might attempt to create a bipedal robot from a quadruped robot. Sure, count us in for that. Why are there so many robots designed like dogs? They are sometimes referred to as robot dogs and appear to be widespread. Which raises the question, why are there so many robots designed like dogs? Robot dogs belong to the category of machines known as quadrupeds, which is Latin for four-legged machines. The huge joints that link the two main portions of the legs, the knees, are the reason they resemble dogs more than horses or rabbits. The horse's knees bend forwards, while the dog's knee bends backwards, towards the rear. Most quadruped robots like Boston Dynamics Spot, MIT's Cheetah 3, and Unitree's Go 1 adopt the backward knee design, which is consistent with the shape and appearance of a dog. The backward elbow design provides legs 
with a larger collision-free workspace. When the quadruped robot performs the task of going upstairs, going downstairs would cause the situation to change. Dock-shaped robots are frequently used for monitoring and inspection purposes. They can be utilized in human inaccessible or dangerous locations, as well as on search and rescue missions. It offers the finest compromise between price, controllability, and the capacity to traverse uneven terrain. The design has four legs and can move in the walk, trot, and gallop gates. Is there room for a robotic dog in your life? Robots are becoming more prevalent as technology develops more quickly than ever. Do we actually need robotic dogs though? The answer, in the opinion of Unitree Robotics, a well-known robotics business specializing in high-performance quadruped robots, is indeed the Unitree Go 2 Pro. Their most recent invention is the best companion you've ever had. Let's examine the reasons why robotic dogs may represent pets of the future. Robotic dogs are programmable. The ability to teach robotic dogs to perform particular jobs is one of their key advantages. These robotic dogs can be trained to behave like real-life pets, whether carrying some of your goods or simply keeping you company during long days at home. Additionally, as you grow accustomed to them and learn more about their capabilities, their programming can be modified. They become adaptable and customizable as a result. They don't require maintenance. Robotic dogs don't require as much upkeep as regular pets do. They don't require daily walks or grooming treatments, and eating human food won't make them ill. All they really need in terms of maintenance is to be plugged in and occasionally have their battery levels topped off. Being the owner of a robotic dog also comes with no associated vet cost. They're more accessible due to technical advancements and businesses like Unitree Robotics, which focuses on creating high-performance quadrupeds for consumers, robotic dogs are becoming more and more affordable. As a result, more individuals than ever now can own robotic dogs. Even those with limited room or resources can now have a robotic dog. And since they don't need to be taken care of, anyone can take advantage of their advantages without worrying about becoming overburdened by their needs. Robotic dogs do have their drawbacks. Quadrupeds have a few disadvantages. They frequently exhibit poor energy efficiency. Most need to be recharged after merely an hour of work. Their gait can make them noisy as well. Some people find the loudness intolerable, which can keep them from joining our daily lives. Robot dogs may not be present in many homes, but their popularity is growing as a result of technical advancements and businesses like Unitree Robotics that concentrate on creating quadrupeds of the highest quality for everyone to enjoy. It will be some time before traditional people look to replace their beloved family pets with a robotic quadruped because the market is still in its early stages. However, it's simple to understand the allure of this new approach to pet keeping given their programmability, low care requirements, and accessibility. There's no doubting the benefits of having a robot pet, whether it be for simple duties or companionship. Therefore, it is easy to see how these robotic canines could one day enter our daily lives. So maybe you might think about acquiring yourself a robot dog if you're seeking a new best buddy. Are you interested in purchasing a robot dog? What are your thoughts on it? Please share your opinions in the comment section down below.